Hey guys, today we will get ready together and today I will try to limit the things that I use to a more clean, non-toxic beauty product. Um, I have already, you know, moisturized. I have added a little bit of oil because the foundation that I'm using is uh, Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. Um, a little bit more drying than I like. So I just increased the moisture by adding a bit of oil. Hopefully it'll sit nicer on oil. I'm trying to figure out a way to use this uh, um, foundation because I actually quite like the texture, but it just did not sit completely perfectly on my skin. So let's go in with these, the foundation. It does have a pump. It's very nice, pretty packaging. I will film a video um, talking about the foundation a little bit more. Um, once I have formed a very solid opinion about it so far, I'm just kind of experimenting with it. Um, I think I could go a shade down, which is shocking because I normally go for the lightest shade in everything, almost everything, unless it's like a 40 shade extensive range. The, if the range is less than 20 shades, I always go for the lightest one and it usually works out. But this one I can make work quite easily. And right now I'm choosing to apply it with a my fingertips and I'm going for a fairly sheer application if you can't tell just to sort of blend it right into my skin and I am putting a little bit over my lids as well but not really much not enough to cover things up too too, too much um, and again I put on the, uh, my regular moisturizer and on top of that I patted some oil so I'm hoping that the uh, coverage is going to um, spread out a little bit more easily and that's all I'm doing so this is about a little bit less than a pump probably in total what I what I put in on my face because I was just taking a very very small amount of product each time I took a little bit um, which is great so the pump is controllable you don't have to pump out an entire pump of product you can regulate how much you're getting out which is really nice so I'm happy with this blends into the it initially looked like it was going to be way too light but it does blend into my skin and matches my neck very nicely so i am actually happy with the result now we're going to try a product i've never tried before this is color revolution it's a mineral makeup brand um, not very expensive i think this was maybe 14 bucks or something like that and it's supposed to last 24 months. This is concealer and eyeshadow base mineral in the color Fair. This one does have pe petrolatum, about which I wasn't entirely too happy, but we're going to give it a go and see what happens. It's quite a moussey texture, quite a thick product. So I'm going to apply very small amounts for color correction in the corner of my eye and try to pat it in with my finger. This has Quite a lot of coverage man yeah this is not not a wuss product this is quite pigmented more pigmented than i imagined did you see how little i applied you really do not need much it brightened um i think that's decent we'll see how it will wear and the rest of what's on my finger is it says it's a, a shadow base as well so we're gonna go ahead and apply it as such uh, and see if it acts as a shadow base. I suspect that it will because it's a little bit moussey, a little bit smooth. Does it have any silicone? No, it does not have any silicone. Um, it has liquid paraffin, petrolatum, which I'm not too, too stoked about. Uh, Ozakirite wax, beeswax, cetyl esters, lanolin, zinc, citrate, and phenoseethanol. Okay, well, uh, this is a pretty short ingredient list, which I am happy about. Not everything I am super, super excited to have in there, but this is actually, it looks, looks quite effective. Let us check in the mirror a little bit closer up. Does not look bad at all, guys. Okay, okay. I did not expect that was going to work very well, but it did. Now let's go in with my Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is Mineral Eyebrow. Um, powder. Mine is in blonde. I'm going to pull on a mirror, but I'm not using any of the products in this compact. Unfortunately, not everything comes with a mirror, so we have to improvise. I'm taking my Bella Pierre Cosmetics little brush, and I'm going to lightly um, 
fill in my brows. Nothing exciting. I have used this powder on camera before, so you probably already saw how I use it. I just sort of lightly go over my brow. I'm not changing the shape. I am just adding a little bit of volume into it. Basically, that's all I do. I am going to brush it out with a spoolie. Okay, brows are not on point today, but it's fine. We're going to go with it. The thing that isn't clean um, in today's uh, makeup, get ready with me, is the Sephora brow gel. That's the only one I have right now. So I don't really have an alternative. It is what it is. Now I am going to take my Young Blood Contour Palette. This is a very handy little set of powders. I will set my entire eyelid just so that I can blend over it um, with this light shade over here. Now I need to add a little bit of contrast color to define my eye. I am taking this guy over here. Like I said, quite a handy little multitasking palette, all mineral, all natural. So can't complain and the quality of the shades is very, very good because you can see how easy it is for me to blend that sucker out. It's really no effort at all. Just blends itself really. I will add the same on the lower lash line. It's a little warm, but I don't mind. I think it looks quite nice. And now I'm going to go in with a slightly darker shade, also quite warm, and deepen up some of the um, contours of the outside of the eye, ever so slightly. And like I mentioned, the powders are really blendable. At least the pressed version. I wouldn't go on and buy the loose powders from Young Blood. I did not like those. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Liner in black. This is from the Nude Eyes set. I haven't touched it. This is a virginal eyeliner. And I am going to define my upper lash line. This is really black and very soft. And I'm just smudging the, the liner to see how smudgeable it is. It is quite smudgeable, but I can already feel it's setting. So this is the line that I was able to get, like a little wing. Not bad, not bad physician's formula. Um, let's get the other eye going. Okay, I'm happy with the result. I got myself a nice little line going and it's very black and it's easy to apply, glides right on and easy to smudge. Now the makeup I had a bit of a chance to settle onto my face. I do want to powder a small amount. These guys are pigmented, but I will take a fluffy, fluffy uh, brush. This is my MAC 140S fluffy, fluffy brush. So I am going to go across these two powders, pick up a little bit on the brush and then lay it down under the eye and the same just in the t-zone very light powdering just for longevity's sake because i am wearing this makeup all day like i always do um if i was contouring i would go into this sucker over here this is a good contour shade for my skin tone i feel like i haven't really worn it yet so although the shade i think is suitable i haven't actually tested it on me so let's wait to make up our mind about that one um, and I will go in with a bronzer and the bronzer I'm using is the butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and I elected not the light bronze which I thought would be um, my kind of cup of tea but I actually got just the bronzer because it has a slightly redder undertone which is very flattering and looks much more realistic and there's a scent to this thing not an unpleasant scent pina colada kind of scent um, I would say but like the pina colada out of the bottle, not the freshly made pina colada. Um, but I don't mind it. A little too scented for my liking, but it's not going to stop me from using the product. I used it yesterday. I was super impressed. So I am going to bronze myself up. By the way, the brush that I'm using is Natural Bristle Brush from Guerlain. It's their bronzer brush. So I am using the appropriate brush and I'm just doing one little tap. It's quite soft. Picking up enough product to do my entire cheek with that. Um, I love the tone and it blends out so easily. 
Keep in mind that I did not powder the sides of my face. So this is blending right over top of the liquid foundation, which by the way, set. So it's not like it was wet, uh, but it's not at all patchy. Very easy to control. A couple of swipes of the brush and it's done. I am understanding the hype around this bronzer. It is that good, yes, I agree. It's a very good product. So one, two, three bronze, very nice and fast. I'm gonna throw a little bit under my chin. Chinny chin? Yes, <laughs> not bad. So I've used it only a couple of times and so far I'm happy with it. Obviously I'll continue testing it. It did wear really nicely as well. Let's move on to blush. For blush, I'll be using Youngblood blush today and this is their um, mineral, a crushed mineral blush in the color Sherbet. Not Sorbet, I don't think. <laughs> Sherbet. Uh, and it is a king part of the set for light skin tones and I agree it will not show up on anybody but light skin tones it has a bit of sheen in it I'm gonna take my elf little blush brush and uh, Use it to pick up some of this mineral powder and I am going to sort of spread it across my cheeks with this blush I do not need highlight. I don't think I mean you can always highlight if you you know if you want to glow but this blush is has some um mica built into it so it is quite glowy on its own uh, and i do like to bring it up a little bit i want to i don't like to have just like a cheek i want the color to be sort of distributed a little bit more um and it i mean it's pigmented enough i think light to medium skin tones will be able to easily pull off this blush uh, if you're deeper, it's going to be a very light flush of color, but I, I am able to get quite a good amount of pigment out of it for sure Yeah, I do feel like I went a little bit overboard with the with the blush So I am going to go back to my MAC brush and blend it out a little bit I like the blushy blushy look and this is what we're going for today really nice and healthy and blushy uh, But just a little more blending uh, okay, I'm happy with that. I think this looks really, really nice. Uh, let's move on to some mascara. I'm using Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara. Uh, I'll show you how it applies. It's not my favorite mascara of life, but it holds nicely onto my lashes, does not smudge, wears well, and it is 100% natural as it says on, says on the box. Um, I enjoy it, but you do really have to get used to it. Why? Because this is this can be scratchy. The brush can be scratchy if you put it too close to the roots. It can be a little uncomfortable. Not in any way irritating, but just a little uncomfortable. So this is one, one uh, layer. The mascara is a little bit on the wet side, so we'll also see how it dries down over time and what kind of effect does it give after it's a little bit more dry. So I'm applying the second coat of mascara. And this is what we get. So I think it's a nice result. I enjoy the lashes. I think they're pretty. They're not crunchy or nasty feeling like sometimes they can be. Not cl a clumpy look. Nice and separated, brushed out. And the lashes are very separated. I like it. Uh, do not mind this mascara at all, actually. I think it's, it might turn into something really great once it dries down a little bit. Um, and uh, has a little bit of a dry formula, dry texture. Uh, for lips today, I am going to go for my uh, Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the color Gabby. It's this peachy nude, so let's put that on. And this is the look, all non-toxic makeup. I'm just starting to transition into better ingredients and so far, I've, I'm really liking the result. It's really not different from the normal uh, makeup that I do. All of this is really what I normally wear. Um, the outcome is exactly identical to what I normally would choose to do as a look. And the makeup is lying nice, nice and flat over the skin. I barely see any because I applied so little, you know, not because the makeup is so um, just out of this world amazing because I really am not wearing a lot. so. The result, I would say, is really equivalent to my luxury products. Um, I don't really see any difference. We'll see how they wear over the day, and then uh, I will have more formed opinions. This is just sort of get ready with me, see how all of this stuff goes onto the skin. Uh, these are not complete reviews, really, in the end of the 
um, by the time I form a really good opinion, they're either going to be in the favorites or the most reached products of the month or whatever, and uh, maybe the regrets, which I will be decluttering. Either way, you will know. So far, I'm liking the look. That's it for today. See you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.